Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from class 10 2025-26 sample question paper for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Now this question is from some applications of trigonometry chapter and it has three sub questions. The first and second sub questions are for one mark and the third sub question is of two marks and it has an or question as well. That is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So let us start with the first question now. India Gate, formerly known as All India War Memorial, is located near Kartavyapath, previously known as Rajpath, at New Delhi. It stands as a memorial to 74,187 soldiers of Indian Army who gave their life in the First World War. This 42 meters tall structure was designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens in the style of Roman triumphal arches. A student, Shriya of height 1 meter, visited India Gate as a part of her study tour. What is the angle of elevation from Shriya's eye to the top of India Gate if she is standing at a distance of 41 meters away from India Gate? So let us try to understand the question first. In the first paragraph, some information about India Gate is given and it was built as a mark of respect or memorial for the soldiers of Indian Army who had lost their lives in the First World War. It was designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens and the height of the structure is 42 meters tall. Now, a student named Shreya of height 1 meter is visiting India Gate as a part of a study tour. Now, we have to find out the angle of elevation that is the angle made by her eyes with the top of the structure when she is standing at a distance of 41 meters away from India Gate. So, let us draw an equivalent figure over here to understand this question better. So, we have drawn the equivalent figure over here, where AB represents height of Shriya, that is 1 meter, CD represents the height of India Gate, that is 42 meters, BD represents the distance of Shriya from the structure, which was given as 41 meters, and AE represents the line of sight of Shriya, that is, let us say that at point A, we have Shriya's eyes, and if she is looking straight, AE becomes the line of sight, and if she is looking up with respect to the line of sight, she is going to make an angle of elevation. And it was given that her eyes make an angle of elevation when she is looking at the top of India gate that is at point C. So we have considered here the angle of elevation as theta. Now here the length of AE will be same as the length of BD because they are parallel to each other. Similarly, the length of AB will be equal to the length of DE. So if AB is 1 meter, DE is also 1 meter. Now to find out the angle of elevation, we are going to consider the right angled triangle AEC. So let us redraw this triangle over here for easy reference. So consider the right angled triangle AEC, where the angle A is considered as theta, that is angle of elevation. The length of AE is 41 meters and the height CE is going to be the total height 42 meters minus the height DE, that is 1 meter. So 42 minus 1 gives us 41 meters. Now once we have got these sides and we need to find out the angle theta, we have to make use of a trigonometric ratio. And before that, let us find out the opposite side, the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Now since theta is over here, the side opposite to it is CE. So this becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. So AC becomes hypotenuse and the remaining side AE default becomes the adjacent side. Now here, since we have the adjacent side and the opposite side, we do not need the hypotenuse. And the trigonometric ratio which uses the opposite side and adjacent side is tan. So here we have written tan of angle A will be equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. Angle A we have considered as theta. So tan theta will be equal to opposite side is CE over adjacent side is AE. Now CE value is 41 and AE value is also 41. So here 41 divides itself, that is 41 1 times and 41 1 times, giving us tan theta equal to 1. And we know that tan 45 degrees gives us a value of 1. So here we have written tan theta equal to tan 45 degrees. Now tan gets cancelled from both the sides of equal to sign, giving us the angle of elevation theta as 45 degrees. So this is going to be our answer. If Shriya observes the angle of elevation from her eye to the top of India gate to be 60 degrees, 
then how far is she standing from the base of india gate so here we have considered the equivalent figure where the height of shriya that is ab was given as 1 meter height of india gate was given as 42 meters now here the difference is we have been given the angle of elevation from shriya's eyes to the top of india gate to be as 60 degrees and we need to find out how far shriya is standing from the base of india gate that is we need to find out the length pd so for this let us again consider the right angled triangle aec so here we have considered the height ce as 41 meters that is 42 minus 1 meter gives us 41 meters the angle of elevation at point a is 60 degrees as it is given in the question and we need to find out the length bd which is same as length ae so if we find out the length ae we are also going to get the answer for bd so here we have written consider the right angled triangle aec now let us find out the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse so here the side opposite to 60 degrees is 41 meters so this becomes the opposite side the side opposite to 90 degrees is hypotenuse so ac is the hypotenuse again and ae default becomes the adjacent side and since here we need to find out the adjacent side and we have the opposite side we do not need the hypotenuse So here we are again going to make use of the trigonometric ratio tan. So tan of angle A is equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. Now here angle A value is given as 60 degrees. So we have written tan of 60 degrees is equal to opposite side as CE over adjacent side as AE. Now tan 60 is a standard angle whose value is square root of 3 is equal to CE value is 41 over we need to find out the length of AE. Now let us exchange the places of AE and square root of 3 that is AE comes on the left hand side equal to 41 over now square root of 3 comes in the place of AE giving us 41 over square root of 3 Now we are going to rationalize the denominator as we have got a square root so we get here AE is equal to 41 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over square root of 3 So here we get the value of AE or the value of BD equal to 41 times square root of 3 in the numerator and in the denominator square root of 3 multiplies with square root of 3 giving us 3. So here Shriya is standing at a distance of 41 square root of 3 over 3 meters from the base of India gate. So this is going to be our answer. If the angle of elevation from Shriya's eye changes from 45 degrees to 30 degrees when she moves some distance back from original position find the distance she moves back so we have considered the previous figure with few changes over here with the height of india gate been given as 42 meters height of shriya that is ab as 1 meters and here let us consider that when shriya is standing over here that is at point b the angle of elevation of her eyes to the top of india gate is 45 degrees now from this point b she moves a small distance backwards and she comes at point q so now at point q her eyes make an angle of elevation with the top of india gate as 30 degrees so now pq becomes 1 meter now we need to find out by how much distance did shriya move back so here in the second figure we have considered the triangles aec and pec So let us focus on this figure now. So here the distance between P to A is considered as x. So x represents the distance by how much Shriya moved backwards. So at point P the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. At point A the angle of elevation was 45 degrees and here the height of CE is considered as 41 meters that is 42 meters minus 1 meter gives us 41 meters. Now the distance between point A and point E that is distance of shriya from original position to the base of india gate is taken here as 41 meters even though it is not mentioned in the question because in part 1 of this question we had seen that when the angle of elevation was 45 degrees distance between shriya and the base of india gate was 41 meters hence we have written the distance between point a and point e as 41 meters now let us consider the triangle pec to find out the value of x So here we have drawn the triangle PEC with angle of elevation at point P as 30 degrees the height CE as 41 meters 
and now the total distance between point P and point E is going to be x plus 41 meters or 41 plus x meters. Now let us find out the opposite side adjacent and hypotenuse of this triangle. So the side opposite to 30 degrees is CE. So this becomes the opposite side. Side opposite to 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. So AC is the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. And now since we need to find out the value of x, we need the opposite side and adjacent side. So here we are going to consider the tan trigonometric ratio. So tan of angle P is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Angle P is 30 degrees here. So tan of 30 degrees is equal to opposite side is CE and adjacent side is PE. Now tan 30 is a standard angle whose value is 1 over square root of 3 is equal to the height CE is 41 over the distance between P and E is 41 plus x. Now here let us cross multiply that is 41 plus x multiplies with 1 giving us 41 plus x equal to 41 multiplies with square root of 3 giving us 41 square root of 3. Now let us take 41 on the other side of equal to sign. So x will be equal to 41 square root of 3 minus 41. Now 41 is a common factor so we have taken it out and inside the bracket remains square root of 3 minus 1. So the distance Shreya moves back is 41 times square root of 3 minus 1 meters. So this is going to be our answer. If Shreya moves to a point which is at a distance of 41 over square root of 3 meters from the India gate, then find the angle of elevation made by her eye to the top of India gate. So here we have considered the previous figure with few changes. So height of India gate is 42 meters. Now AB represents the height of Shriya that is 1 meter. Now it is given that Shriya moves to a point which is at a distance of 41 over square root of 3 meters from the base of India gate. So here the distance BD becomes 41 over square root of 3 meters. Now we have to find out what is the angle of elevation made by her eyes when she stands at point B. So here in the second figure we have considered the right angled triangle AEC for easy reference with the height CE being 41 meters. Now theta represents the angle of elevation at point A and distance between B to D will be equal to the distance between the points A and E. So we have written here 41 over square root of 3 meters. Now here CE becomes the opposite side as it is opposite to the angle of elevation and AE becomes the adjacent side. So we are going to make use of tan trigonometric ratio over here to find out the angle of elevation. So consider the right angled triangle AEC. So tan of angle A will be equal to opposite side over the adjacent side. So angle A is considered as theta. So tan theta will be equal to opposite side is CE over adjacent side is AE. Now CE value is 41 and AE value is given as 41 over square root of 3. Now let us simplify this fraction. So here we get the numerator stays the same that is 41. Now division becomes multiplication and the fraction which is below the division line flips upside down giving us square root of 3 over 41. Now here 41 divides itself giving us tan theta equal to square root of 3 and we know that tan 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3. So here we have written tan theta equal to tan of 60 degrees. Now we can cancel the tan from both the sides of equal to sign giving us the angle of elevation that is theta equal to 60 degrees. So this is going to be our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.